Hi. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Oh, right. Lenny. Long time no see, buddy. Ain't that the truth? I suppose you came to town for the funeral? Yep, that's right. Sorry for your loss. Joseph was a great guy before, well, you know. Yeah, he really was. So, uh, anyway, what can I do for you today? I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. getting annoying. Hey. Hi there. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least 20 bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. 
deal. Good. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Hey. Hi there. Okay, gotta go. See ya. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Okay, let's have a look. I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it. Lanny, I need you to do something. How can I help, boss? My mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get home. All right, got it. to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes. I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe we can eat the food together? I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. dear mind if we talk for a bit grandma not at all dear what's on your mind 
Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thanks, Grandma. You are welcome, dear. Be careful now. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. Free light bulb. Score. There we go. Mr. Bear, oh, how did you get all the way up there? Good idea. You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. typewriter covered in cobwebs. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. Various books and... Nothing. Empty. Hello, dear. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? I found a locked briefcase in the attic. Do you know anything about it? Oh, that old thing? Joseph said there were just some old boring Air Force papers in there. If that was the case, why use an intricate combination lock? That's a very good question, dear. In any case, I wouldn't know how to open it. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Huh. It would be kind of funny to see her reaction, but no. <laughs> <laughs>